So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some really fast and easy grass in Blender. And I'm not even kidding you when I tell you this is really fast and easy. And we're going to be using nothing more than Blender's particle system here, so there's no modeling involved. And we're just going to be using an image that's going to be giving us all of this color variation you see here. So super simple stuff. If you think this is something you'd like to learn, keep watching the video. I'm going to be going step by step. I'll even show you where to get some of the resources online. So let's get into the tutorial. So let's first of all just make sure you have the right add-ons enabled. So we're going to go Shift A, and we're going to go down to the image option here. If you don't see import images as planes, you just need to enable it. So what you're simply going to do is you're going to go to your edit mode up here, go down to your preferences, you're going to make sure you click on your add-ons tab here, and then up here you're just going to type image, and you should see something here called import, export images as planes. Just make sure to tick that. You can now close this window. So now if we go Shift A, and we go down to the images, we're gonna see images as planes as an option. Okay, so with that done, I'm just gonna select the default objects here, and I'm just gonna delete them for now. And I'm gonna import an image as a plane. And now the image I'm gonna be using is this one here, which is free, and I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You don't need an account or anything. So just go ahead and download it. I downloaded the 10, um, 1920 by 1080p one, and I just placed that on my desktop, so right there. And what we're gonna do now, so we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go down to our image option here, image as plane, click on that. It's gonna bring up a um, pop-up window here, so we're gonna just go to the desktop option here, and I'm gonna get that grass 84622, whatever, just get that one, import it. So now if we hit Z and we go into rendered view, we're gonna see the um, image is applied and it has the right aspect ratio and everything. In fact, if we go into our shading workspace here, you can see it's automatically added in the image texture here to our principal shader. So let's just go back to our layout. So what we want to do as well, we want to be able to see this. So let's go to our um, world settings here and go ahead and get a HDRI for yourself. In fact, I'll put a link in the description to a HDRI you can download. So go to your, um, your world settings here, click on this tab here on the side. So not that tab, this um, circular one here at the front. So click on that little tab and you're gonna see this window pop up and you're gonna to go to environment texture and then you're gonna just click on open and I put mine on my desktop so it's just this um, HDRI here. I just got a small one. You can get a bigger file if you want. I wanna to go to open image and now we have HDRI lighting in our scene. Um, I'm just gonna to come to the strength here and make it 0.8 and now we can get started with this plane a little bit more. Now you can just leave it flat if you wanted to but just as an example, I'm gonna go into edit mode I'm going to just go right, I'm going to go Control R just to add a loop cut in the middle. Then, then I'm going to hit A to select everything. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go subdivide. Come down to the subdivision tab and I'm going to give it 55 subdivisions like this. Then I'm going to go over here to the proportional editing. I'm going to select any vertex here. I'm going to hit G and I'm going to just make it um, a little bit of a valley here, maybe a bit of a nested area. Select the vertex here, maybe raise it up a little bit. You know what I'm doing, just making the ground a little bit uneven. This is something you can always do to ground. It doesn't have to be much, just to make it not look like a perfectly flat plane. And on top of that, if you want to make it look even better, you can go to your uh, modifiers tab here and just go down and give this a displacement modifier. So just go over here to displace and just click on new here. Then you have to actually go down to your image the um, texture properties here and it should by default be selected, that texture. So just come here to the type and make it clouds. Try a few different ones here if you want to, but clouds works fine. I'm gonna go back to our modifier tab here and you can obviously adjust the strength so it doesn't look really crazy. So just something like that looks a lot better. Go to object mode and enable shade smooth. It doesn't really matter because we're not gonna be seeing the plane. So now we're gonna get into our actual particles, which is the easy part. So let's go over with this plane selected. Let's click on our particle settings here. Click plus, and now we've added a system. Obviously, we don't want um, emitters, so let's just make this hair. And then you're gonna actually come here to the hair length, and you can make it whatever you want. So I'm gonna go with something like 0.1. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too long. I might make it even half. That's I might go 0 0.05. It really doesn't matter. It's up to whatever you're trying to do. And I'm gonna come here to the emitter number, and I'm gonna make mine 30,000. So I'm gonna type in 30000. Now you could make this number less and just enable the, go to the children and enable interpolated or something, but I'm just gonna leave it at 30,000 there, it's fine. It shouldn't hurt anything. 
And then what we need to do is we need to go down to our physics. So if you don't see the physics, make sure to enable advanced. You should now be able to go down and see the physics option here. And under the physics, we're going to come here to the forces. We're going to take the brown in here and let's make it something like 0 0.02. And this is going to give it a little bit of uh, distortion, as you can see, so all of the blades of grass are not perfectly straight. Um, anything more than that might be a bit too much, but experiment, try different things, it's all okay. And then we can also go over here to our render, so go down to the render, and make sure to enable beast plan here as well. And by default, the material here should be the same material that is on your plane. If it's not, just click on the materials and select that grass. And if we now hit Z and we go rendered, um, we should see this. Here we have our grass on our plane here. And that's pretty much it. You can almost now render this, place it into the scene. You can um, increase this number here if you want to. But this is how you really e and simply easily make grass with particles. It's not the most realistic way, but it kind of gives you um, some pretty interesting results. In fact, I'm gonna just quickly go to my render settings here. I'm gonna go down to film, just enable the transparent. So you can see it without the HDRI in the background. So there we have some super quick and easy, relatively realistic grass, but I still definitely wouldn't say this is the most realistic method. I would definitely rely on something like um, actually modeling some groups of different grasses and plants and then distributing them on the plane would be a lot more realistic. But if you wanted a quick kind of um, stylized kind of grass that kind of does the job, something like this might be um, an approach you can take. So you can always come here, also bump the mount up. So I might make this 50,000. Okay, I just realized that that's 500,000, but as you can see, my computer can handle it, so it's not too bad. But there we have it. Nice, realistic grass in Blender, and this is being rendered in EV. See you guys next time for another tutorial.